uh, to a Vietnam, uh, Vietnamese economy. And as movement, it's uh, good for exporter, but in general, it's not, uh, it's not uh, good for consumer. And from here, we can see an increase in inflation rate leads to increase in strength rate, is longer the conclusion, and its strength rate, um, uh, inflation rate, and, um, and export value. And hopefully, and this from my finding, also the message uh, to the government uh, from that, they think about its strength rate to help or to support or, or can be helpful for for uh, my um, uh, data I also forecast uh, in 2011 is strength rate and inflation rate to tell you in the next year can be good for enterprises internal or export okay. Uh, you can see from here, the uh, retail outlets and the shopping malls uh, are not very, very high-end. They are moderate in terms of the uh, positioning. And uh, there are many outlets, for example, KFC, uh, reject shops selling uh, 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 consumer uh, uh, trends. Yeah? And there are also small outlets selling uh, souvenirs like this which obviously is not of high value and you also see within the shopping malls the layout, especially this part is not very, very uh, uh, organized yet. Right? some of the pictures of shoppers and the inside interiors of the uh, shopping mall right? if you look at these pictures, uh, you would realize that the, it's not very different from uh, some of the malls the shopping malls that we can see in Saigon or in Hanoi. Uh, okay? Right, uh, some more pictures for you. Uh, the food court inside, very basic, very basic, yeah. In fact, most of the uh, uh, food centers in Ho Chi Minh City is much, much, much better than here. Right, more pictures. So, let's discuss. Uh, the major challenges for this uh, company, yeah? the mix. So they have a variety, a mixture of tenants, some of which are not giving them sufficient use, yeah? not enough rental income. And they also have uh, difficulties in collecting the rental. They are not just uh, bad rental yield, they also find it very difficult to collect rental. And the third one is a uh, decision-making process within this organization is not very effective. Right? The management team, the managers, are aware there needs to be change, a big change in how they organize their operation. But somehow the process within the company is not very effective. And that results in the, in the circle. Yeah. Decision-making not effective, resulting in uh, tenants which they select. Yeah? The tenants that they get for the malls are not very, very good. And that results in bad uh, rental yield. And when this was proposed to the management, uh, they taught perhaps a strategic planning workshop using the balance scorecard approach would be useful to highlight some of the major challenges as well as uh, propose a plan to implement the new strategies for the company. So during that process, uh, uh, I was involved in a, a series of workshops over two months. Right? It's not a workshop like this where I talk and uh, the rest of the audience listen. No, it's a group of uh, senior management team, 23 people for that company, over a period of two months. It's a two-month period exercise. Right? We met many times in an informal setting, and there are many exercises done by the participants which comprise of the management team. And some of the pictures you saw actually came from them. Yeah, the participants actually went to their malls and took pictures. Took pictures of what they do not like to see and what they like to see. Yeah. Okay. Um, these managers are from the retail malls, uh, the, also from the functional departments. Some are from HR, 
some are from finance department, from the technical team, from marketing team, a whole range of uh, senior management members. I remember Martin saying uh, we have to implement strategy from uh, in a way from bottom up. That means we will not shout from the boss. The boss will not tell the managers what to do, but the managers will develop strategy and try to propose. And from there, everyone will be taking part in the strategic planning process. So that was how we uh, engage the company. Yeah. The goal as a consultant in this uh, project is to facilitate. We provide the tools, some of the tools, the methodology, but most of the discussion, yeah, the input, the comments of uh, using balance scorecard in the implementation. Right, uh, uh, we, I plan for this uh, session to be like 45 minutes because we are running short of time, so I'm going to uh, concise it to about to skip or quickly go through. Okay, so what are the approaches to the, uh, the session with this company? Right, what we did was uh, we undertook the uh, general uh, strategic plan. Uh, we also looked into portals by bosses to understand the industry where this company is operating in. Right? So all the senior management members and coffee is free flowing. Yeah, you can bring in food and coffee. It's like an informal environment where people can think and brainstorm. Yeah. Alright, then we also look at the uh, uh, benchmarking against other retail malls. Uh, in that particular case, we use some of the pictures from the shopping complexes in Bangkok, in Thailand. Eh? Right, we are all aware uh, the development of the uh, retail as well as the uh, shopping mall industry in Thailand, especially in Bangkok, is very, very advanced yeah, compared to other cities in the region. So in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, this company wanted to, to benchmark, to see what people are doing in Bangkok and see whether this can be uh, to, to be copied or to be emulated and eh, to be uh, uh, used in the Malaysian strategy. And from the, uh, this will be a balanced scorecard plan, right? I'll show you how the plan looks like in, in very brief form. Okay, the pictures I'm showing you are not for that particular company. Of course, it's proprietary, yeah? Every time we do a workshop involving balanced scorecard, uh, the output from the company will be confidential, yeah? we could do is a look at the customers, right? A brainstorming process, identifying the customers, are very, very Malaysian. Uh, it's in Malaysian word, Ting Malai. So I uh, would find it very hard to explain. Yeah? For example, uh, uh, we have students, we have families. We have the, uh, this means the, uh, the participant for the marriage can get married. Right, uh, so a lot of the uh, people yeah, attending the marriage course come to the uh, shopping malls. New uh, building uh, in with a new code of painting new facility the second is a realignment of the uh, tenant mix that means we want to reposition yeah some of the tenants which are not paying high bills not paying high rental how do we change that that's a very big uh, edit here. Uh, we talk about 85 dollars for cyber trade center per meter 85 dollars you build and they will come <coughs> Today in Ho Chi Minh City, you build and there are a lot of buildings now, people don't come. So, branding, yeah? uh, to me, branding would be an issue uh, in, in Vietnam as well. Okay, then staff empowerment is in terms of decision, ma decision making in a state owned company compared to a private company is different. The way decision will be different. Okay, so quickly, yeah. Three teams, correct positioning, empowerment, expand revenue base. And uh, if you look at balance scorecard, scorecard say, it says you have to have a balance. Balance scorecard. Balance. Balance what? Balance other areas which are not just financial. And that is the traditional uh, uh, focus for management, for business owner. Everybody talk about profit. Yeah, how much profit, how much return on equity. But balance scorecard says, hey, wait, do not just look at profit. We also have to look at the other aspects of business. And these are equally important. The first one, customers. Right? Look at what customer process, all processes that uh, we need to put through. Yeah? And we talk about the customer. And the last one, and the important one is learning and growth, our employees our people, our young women, 
how do we give them the ability yeah, to change, to improve? Yeah. Uh, earlier, Andre, Andre has mentioned that uh, yes, you have to have a growth mindset. How do we give our employee the growth mindset? And we, I show you this picture. This is Pavilion, Pavilion Kuala Lumpur. Right? Uh, Pavilion Kuala Lumpur is a very top end, yeah, a top end uh, retail mall. So how does this Pavilion yeah, appear to customers? What type of customers do they want? Right? I think from, from this picture alone, it's very clear. Yeah? Yeah, for those who have been to Malaysia and you have visited this place, this is a high end uh, shopping mall high-end luxury products. Yeah. We will not have things like a uh, reject shop. Yeah. You saw reject shop earlier? Mm -hmm. yeah. We will not have souvenir shops that sell cheap things. We will not have food center, food court that sell very, very uh, cheap food with the plastic chair. No, we won't have that. Right. The second one, yeah, I'm taking some of the uh, snapshots, yeah, some of the uh, uh, interesting items from the discussion. Yeah. Okay. Internal business process uh, relates to how internally within the company we, we operate. And in this uh, slide, I showed you the uh, selection of tenant. How do we select tenant? What are the processes? Yeah. How the financial. Okay. In the end, all companies must meet the shareholders' requirement. If you don't make money, do not make enough profit for your shareholders, sorry, you are out of business. So this is, this is the most important here yeah, for the shareholders and also uh, okay, reduce the, uh, the, uh, the cost, uh, reduce or optimize cost. That's the financial side, only one perspective. The second perspective is the uh, uh, customer's perspective. Yeah, how do we appear to the customer? Right, better themes, better events, right, better events. If you look at many